Hello everyone, welcome back to the Dainty Seamstress. Thank you for joining me for another Sweet Treats Holiday Edition video. So this sweet treat will be inspired by Christmas fruit cakes. I'm not a fan of Christmas fruit cakes, but I know a lot of people that are. And if you like Christmas fruit cake, let me know in the comments what's your favorite thing about the Christmas fruit cake. So this dessert is going to be made with Sculpey Clay, just as all the others. I did a little prepping before the video. I have my clay here that I'll be using. This is the shape that I would like it to be in. And then I cut up some toppings and filling to put on the inside. I also have some liquid clay and Sculpey Gloss and some other colors here that I may be using. Some paints and more clay and some cutters and I also have all of my sculpting tools here so let's get started so this is going to be very easy and I hope that if you are interested you can follow as follow along as well so I just I mixed some colors together to get this color fruitcakes come in all different shades of browns and tans and sometimes people put it in vanilla cake you can do whatever you want so you make it the size and shape that you like for your dolls if that's what you're doing it for and you just got to know what kind of things you want to put inside of your cake are you putting fruit are you putting nuts I'm putting fruits and nuts inside of the cake and maybe some candies on the top all right so i've decided to go a different route what i'm going to do is decorate the top of the cake so i've already cut up these little balls well these little pieces of clay and i'm just going to place them one here I'm just going to place them in a design on the cake, one there, here, here, it's going to be so cute. There, and I'm pressing down on them and then this little tool I can like poke a hole in the fruit hopefully this stays on when it bakes to make it look like an actual berry Okay, that's pretty even. Like that. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the green ones. I'm just going to put them here. This is what it looks like. I'm going to try to make sure these are spaced the way I'd like them to be and I think that's pretty good so that's what match those down a little bit so that's what it looks like so far and then next I'm going to take the tan and I'm going to make this look like a pecan a piece of pecan so I'm just gonna put kind of make it into an oval shape and then do like that put like a little line in the middle like 
there. So I'll put the nuts on the sides. So I'm gonna do this on a time lapse because it's gonna take me a while. <laughs> it's gonna take me a little bit to um, put that all the way around. Right here, I'm adding more detail to the pecans and making them look a little bit more realistic by putting more lines and squiggles inside of them. I took the liberty to add a bit more fruit to the cake to make it a little bit more festive. And I'm gonna be taking my chalk pastels and adding a little bit of color to the top of the cake. So let me get a brush. I'm gonna use this little brush here and I'm going to be using a darker brown color to kind of just put more color on. So scratching some of that brown. And so I'm just adding just brushing on some color on the edges so it can look like it cooked So you can see it's a little darker right here. I love that. So I'm just going to keep adding on until it's to my liking. so I really like the color that it is right now and so I'm just going to keep adding and so far this is what the cake looks like so it has some color to it it has the designs. I added a little bit more color to the middle of the nuts. And then I'm gonna put, brush a little more color on the nuts so they look cooked, baked, roasted, you know. I think that looks pretty good for right now so the next thing I'm going to do is try to add some details all around the cake like to make it look as if the fruit is inside of the cake like it's supposed to this is something that I really like to do <sighs> is okay so let's say I have this color let me try to zoom in so you can see So I have this color and then I'm going to take my needle tool or any sharp kind of pointy tool you have and just kind of scrape. So just scrape this up really good. Scrape it up and scratch it up and you're going to get pieces like this. And so I'm just going to scratch this up until I get all these little pieces and some pieces are big which is fine because you don't want it all to be the same size because it's not going to be and then I'm going to get my red and green and do the same thing so 
So this green that I just used, I'm going to take it and do the same thing. Just like scrape it up. Okay. And then the same thing with the red and then I may also take some of this berry white color. I think that could be useful for this. So let me sit down and do this. Scrape up some of this. What I'm going to do is take pieces of this and just mash it into the cake like that. This is the cake finished on the outside. It has nuts, it has all the little pieces of fruit. And now what I'm gonna do is cut a slice, cut a slice or two of the cake. So I think I'm gonna go like, hmm. and then I think I'm gonna cut it like this and so I'm gonna get two slices out of it all right so here is the slice is kind of messed up, but it's okay. There's a slice. Just want to make sure it fits back. Okay. So, what I'm going to do now is take this little tool and scratch up the inside of the cake. To make the cake texture. I think that looks good.
Okay, I've textured this good enough. That's what it looks like on the inside. And then I'm also going to texturize the inside of the slices. So we're going to do, actually I'm going to go ahead and cut this in half. So that way there's two pieces. And then I'm just going to texturize this. Okay, I think that's good enough. And then. I think that's good. That's good enough. I'll try to flatten this part out a little bit. And then we're just gonna go in with the little pieces and just smash them into the cake. Here is the cake, all finished with all the berries and nuts inside and on the outside decorated. I've preheated my polymer clay oven and it's on 30 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and put it inside and I'll be back when it is finished. All right, so here are the cake pieces out of the oven. This is what it looks like on the top. And on the inside on the sides and then here are the cake slices I think they look pretty good so now I'm going to take my Sculpey gloss glaze I have a brush here I'm gonna glaze this on the outside you guys, I apologize. I didn't realize that I wasn't in full frame where you can see me glazing the cake, but I'm glazing the inside and the outside and I'm only using one layer because I just want the cake to have a shine, but not too much of a shine. So after I finish glazing this, I'm gonna let it sit for 30 minutes and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Here is the cake and the cake slices all glazed and dried. It is perfect, I think. Look at the inside of that. It looks just like a fruit cake to me. <laughs> and then here are the slices. very cool so i'm really excited about this i can't wait to put it in a display and put my black dolls with it very cute 
So that's going to be all for this video. I hope that you enjoyed the tutorial. You can comment, like, share, and subscribe, and let me know if you are a fan of the fruitcake. Have a wonderful evening, wonderful day. God bless.